Yeah, baby. Yeah. So where's Yasser? I don't even see the kid, man. Hold on. Huh? Hello. <laughs> Where is that? When I was eight, I came to England, where I grew up with my stepsisters. I was just like any other kid from the UK. But I grew up without my parents. When I was 16, I got into bad company with drugs, and I was sentenced to prison for two years. In those two years, I began to change. I began to become religious. I, I was looking for a sense of, of, of belonging. After prison, I was deported to Somalia and I became part of Al-Shabaab. At first, I thought Al-Shabaab were the good guys, fighting for the Somali people. They befriended me. They gave me a way to reestablish my life in Africa. I was never a frontline soldier. I never carried a gun for them. I never killed anyone for them. Because I could speak English and I was educated and I knew how to use a computer, they had me doing other things for them. I'm not... I'm not a, a terrorist. I'm not a, a suicide bomber. <laughs> That's when I realized I was a fool. That's when I realized I was tricked. That's when I realized I made a mistake. I was a fool, that's when I realized I was tricked. That's when I realized I made a mistake. Now I'm hiding in Mukdisho, trying to stay away from Al-Shabaab. My father has passed away, and my mother lives in South Somalia, where Al-Shabaab still have a lot of power. I'm 